right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome everybody into the room. My name is Carlos Morales. I'm the Pathway Program Assistant for the Area Health Education Center for Western Washington. And if you're in this room, today's session is about what does a program manager do? I'm happy to introduce Ashley Mandujano. And Ashley, go ahead and take it away. Awesome, thank you, Carlos. Well, I'm really excited to be here. Um, and uh, I guess we'll start out just uh, a little bit about myself. Um, so I am a clinical programs manager, and I will get into what that is in a little bit. Um, a little bit about my background. I'm actually born and raised here in the South King County area. Um, and I've been working in the healthcare field for about 12 years now. Um, and I've actually had the opportunity to work in several different positions. Um, but I uh, found my career path here in clinical programs, and that's what I'm here to talk to you about. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you all. So we're going to talk a little bit about what is clinical programs, what is a program manager, um, and then what kind of skills do you need to be successful in a role like this? All right, so a program manager is someone who is it's basically a project manager. Um, in charge of managing multiple projects that are all related and intertwined. And so at HealthPoint, which is a community health center system, so we have uh, multiple locations throughout King County. We provide medical, dental, pharmacy care for all of our patients. Um, clinical programs within HealthPoint are those medical, dental, and behavioral health services that we provide our patients. Um, in addition to the primary medical and dental and behavioral health services, we also have specialty services that we uh, provide to our patients. Those include pediatrics or children, uh, doctors that specialize in, in child um, medicine, geriatrics, which is the opposite, uh, specialists that uh, treat the elderly, um, OB prenatal care, sports medicine, uh, we have a program specifically for our new refugee arrivals um, and then addiction medicine. And so as the clinical programs manager, what I do is um, I support these specialty programs and the overall clinical programs by helping manage the projects that are initiated to expand or improve the services that we provide our patients. And so because a program manager is essentially a, a project manager, let, we can talk a little bit about what exactly project management is. So managing a project essentially means that I am responsible for planning, organizing, and directing the completion of the specific tasks within the project um, so that the organization um, can make sure that we complete these projects on time, on budget, within the scope that we defined of what that project was going to actually do, make sure that the end result actually meets what we wanted it to do. And a big, big percent uh, of a project manager's time is spent communicating according to the Project Management Institute. And you're communicating with a lot of different people. So you communicate with the actual project team, the people working on the project with you, making sure everybody's on the same page. You're also communicating with the stakeholders. So a stakeholder is anybody that is affected or has an interest in that project. Um, so you wanna make sure that you keep your stakeholders um, informed about how the project is progressing and also that you keep them engaged um, to help ensure that the project is successful. So that's kind of in a nutshell what a project and program manager is. So why would you want to become one? Being a program manager is really great because it's super fulfilling and rewarding, um, especially in the setting of a community health center that I work at. Um, you know, we provide care to uh, low income patients, mostly Medicaid, um, really serving just the people of our community. And as a program manager, I get to help bring these projects that expand and improve the services that we provide our patients. So it's really rewarding 
also just seeing something from start to finish. As the project manager, you are involved from the start and all the way until it is implemented and completed. And it's really fulfilling to be able to participate and take charge of something from start to finish. So being a program manager is super rewarding. It's also super challenging. There's a lot, there's a lot to it. So you're communicating and dealing with a lot of different people of uh, different personality types and communication styles. Um, it, and it's a lot of juggling too, because as a program manager, I'm, I'm managing multiple projects all at one time. So making sure uh, that you're very organized and have time management skills. Um, so it does provide a good challenge, but again, that makes it that much more rewarding in the end. Um, and it's a lot of fun. I get to learn so much about the services we provide our patients, healthcare in general, because I'm not on the clinical side of things, I'm on the administrative side. So it's a lot of fun working with a really diverse group of people and they bring such great ideas to the table that end up bettering our community in so many different ways. And then what would you need to become a successful program manager. Um, so the first thing, you know, we talked about the challenges and how you're managing multiple projects at the same time. So one of the biggest things is organization and time management and learning how to best utilize your time so that you're able to complete all of the work that's needing to be done. Communication, 90% of a project manager's job is communicating. So having those communication skills, knowing how to communicate in different ways with different people so that the message is well received and people are engaged, the right type of communication for the right information that you're giving. So you want to select the right medium for the communication that you're going to be sending. And communication is a two-way street. So when people are communicating to you, you have to know how to be an effective listener, make sure you're um, paraphrasing when uh, for understanding um, so that you really understand what it is that's being communicated to you. Being resourceful. So especially in healthcare, community health centers, um, trying to find the tools that uh, we need. A lot of times we have to source those ourselves, find grants or funding for those things. Um, so knowing what tools are available to you and how to access them is super important to um, getting past any barriers that come up during a project uh, that you're managing. General leadership skills. So this is a really important part of being a good project manager because you're not just managing a project, you, you are effectively managing the people, your project team as well. So how do you develop your team? how you influence others. So when you are communicating to executive level uh, staff, how do you present the information in such a way that will help them understand um, the impact of the project, the benefit, get their support for what you're trying to accomplish. Um, and then again, keeping everybody energized and focused on accomplishing that goal that you set out with the project. And then at the, the very last is the actual project management knowledge. So project management has uh, a large body of information, you know, multiple knowledge areas, tools available to help you successfully manage projects. There are educational programs available, certifications that you can get to become more knowledgeable in this area. So my, for me personally, I have what's called the CAPM, so that's the Certified Associate in Project Management, so that's like the mid-level, and then even one step above that is the PMP, or the Project Management Professional Certification, and so these certifications require a certain amount of uh, education um, time that you have to study, and then there's an exam that you have to pass to become certified uh, as a CAPM or Project Management Professional. But these are really crucial to giving you the tools you need to be able to effectively manage uh, projects. Um, so if you are interested in any sort of program or project management, those certifications are really, um, really key to being successful. And that's really just kind of it in a nutshell. Uh, do you guys have any specific questions about program management?
So what did you do as far as schooling goes, where you decided that this is something that I want to get into? Yeah, so I started working in healthcare before I got my education. Um, and the reason I did that is because I wanted to really find the area that I was interested in. And then I wanted to specialize my education in that area. Um, so I started out in healthcare. I worked front desk. I did worked in the referral department. I supervised. Um, and throughout that experience, I got kind of sneak peeks of project management. And so that's kind of where I really found what I enjoyed in within healthcare. Um, and from there, I got a bachelor's degree um, in business uh, with a concentration in healthcare management. And then I also have a master's in business administration, also with a concentration in healthcare management, um, and then also the uh, project management certification. Do you think you'd be able to do your job as well without that knowledge in business administration that you received? Not, no, not at all. So the education, both the bachelor's and the master's gives you such a foundation of how a business operates because healthcare, just like anything else is, is another business and you have to keep the money coming in to keep the doors open. So even a community health center so that we can continue to provide those services to our patients. And so having that foundational knowledge of what a business is, how it operates, um, all the different factors of financial and just the actual operations um, really gives you a broad understanding of, of how things work. And that's really important when it comes to implementing projects in, within healthcare, you have to know how things work if you're going to introduce a new, a new uh, service or a new anything, really. Um, having an understanding of how things currently work and, and then implementing how you want them to work in the future. So I think the education of the business part is, has really helped me to be more successful in project management. Absolutely. I think that's something that I've realized recently. I'm, I'm a student as well right now, but I'm, I'm on the public health track and I'm really interested in policy and writing policy. And yeah. something that's popped up on my radar recently is that, that more of that business administrative knowledge that I didn't necessarily think was going to be something that I might pursue. And as I've continued, cause I'm, I'm a pathway program assistant. So I assist a program manager. Um, yeah. But even in this role, I'm already noticing that, oh, I see the value in either getting, yeah, your, your MBA or a focus in business administration when that's something that yeah. I kind of was out of my peripheral before. Yeah, it really just has the, an, an overarching effect on everything, you know, mm -hmm. uh, understanding the fundamentals of how a business operates and works is, is, can only help you. It definitely, definitely can't hurt. Yeah, absolutely. It definitely feels like one of those focuses that, that rounds out your experience. It, it is something where you can move laterally and then also forward as well, which is we're gonna, gonna yeah. be my next question is, since you're like in that mid, mid role for your program management, is your next goal to get into that PMP role at some point in your career path? Absolutely. Yeah, I've been in, in project and program management now for a little over a year. Um, and so I, in order to qualify to even take the PMP exam, you have to have done three years of project managing. Um, so three years, 4,500 hours of project managing to even qualify to take the test. So um, that's kind of what I'm working towards now is just uh, documenting all the projects I'm working on. And once I hit that three year mark, then I can take the, the PMP exam. Wow. That's a lot to just even qualify. It is. To, it to really take is the quite test. A bit. Yeah. Well, I guess they have to have a vetting process to make sure they get people who are um, willing to take the, do the sacrifice for the, for the career path. Yeah. I mean, it, it really does 
help ensure that when you have that certification, you you really know what you're doing when mm -hmm. it comes to project management. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's good to know. I feel like at first, just initially, when I see any sort of test, I see it as a barrier, but that's actually really good to know that um, they're making sure that people are qualified for the job that's in front of them. Yeah. Especially when you're supporting the community, right? There's other other people's health Absolutely. at stake. Yeah. Yeah. Well, great. If anybody has any questions, feel, please feel free to drop them in the chat or you can unmute and ask. Hi, Ashley. I actually noticed the remaining time shows up as eight minutes, so we have some time. So thank you so much for sharing about the program manager role. And I'm seeing a lot of opening for program manager for all different, you know, diverse, you know, organization like a tech, they said like a technical, like a program manager, they might need to know, like, you know, coding language and it's like software and computer science, but healthcare might be a little bit different. And also, you know, some banks and financial organization also have like program manager, project manager, right. and tech companies have like product manager. So can you share more about those differences and how was your career path? You mentioned you worked in healthcare for a while, like where you started, was it like admin position or HR or recruiting and you moved on into PM? Sure. Mm -hmm. That would be, you know, helpful to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So yes, uh, many, pretty much every industry has project management, program management. Um, they do have, you know, each industry is going to be a little bit different, you know, especially like the tech industry. They t typically want the project manager to have a, a good understanding of IT um, and, you know, uh, but the foundation of project management is is the same. So the training you get in project management for healthcare is going to be pretty much the same as the one you get for IT and other other industries. Um, but there are some nuances uh, depending on the industry uh, as to what they, the background of the project manager specifically that they like to know. Um, so if there is one industry that it is more interesting to you than another, typically I would say you could get that educationally through a bachelor's degree in specifically IT management versus healthcare management. Um, but then also having that general project management uh, certification is going to help you in, in any industry that you go into. Um, I did start in healthcare. I started as front desk. Um, I've worked in referrals. I've worked uh, supervising. Um, so I've had a both clinic, in-clinic experience and administrative experience. And uh, that's kind of how I found the project management world within healthcare. Um, and uh, it lent itself as a benefit to me because I already have that institutional knowledge of healthcare and how it operates. And I've been able to successfully then get that certification in project management to work as a project manager in healthcare. So having that foundational experience at working in healthcare definitely um, lent itself to me being able to become a, pro a program manager in healthcare. Did that answer your question, Heather? And can you share your full name so I can search you on the LinkedIn so I can see what kind of position and organization that you work for? <laughs> yeah, well, I've actually worked for the same organization for 10 years now. So I worked at Health Point, which is uh, the community health centers uh, for 10 years. But yeah, my, my last name is Manducano. It's M-A-N-D-U. J A N O. And yeah, I'm on LinkedIn. Feel free to find me there um, and take a look. But uh, yeah, most of my experience has been with the same organization. I have worked with another community health center. So, um, but that was, you know, right at the very beginning of my career path. I've been with HealthPoint for the last 10 years. I heard about HealthPoint before, and, and it is great that you are able to grow in one organization because it's rare nowadays, you know, people need to job hop to increase their salaries. So that is, Absolutely. you know, really nice to see, uh, to see that tenure. And can you share more about HealthPoint? Like, I think they have multiple locations in the area. And, and they do, yeah, yeah absolutely. Close. Um, and 
Yeah, that's one of the main reasons I, I chose HealthPoint because I saw the opportunity for growth. Um, I've worked for other community health centers before HealthPoint, and it was there was not a comparison. HealthPoint had a, had a lot of opportunity. Um, so we do have multiple locations all throughout King County. So we go as far south as Auburn and Federal Way and as far north as Bothell. Um, so spread out all over King County. Um, I think we have 10 health centers um, and that contain both medical and dental, pharmacy, behavioral health services. Um, we also have five or six school-based health centers. So at actual high schools uh, where we can, um, we have providers that see the students there. Um, and it's been in, we just had our 50th anniversary last year. So um, started back in the, in, I think 1971. Um, but we've been around since for about 50 years and just grown throughout that entire time. So, and I really love the work that we do. Our, our, our health centers are really located in high need areas. Um, and we serve just a, a very diverse population of patients. So that brings up a question for me. With there being so many locations, are you the program manager for specific locations or overarching all of them? Uh, so clinical programs is overarching at all of our at uh, throughout all of our sites. Um, you know because we provide medical, dental, pharmacy services, behavioral health services throughout our locations. Um, so the clinical programs manager is at the enterprise level. So for the entire organization. Wow. And so is there two of you? Because I know you said you're at the mid role and then there's a role above you. So we have, I'm the only me. Um, so I'm the only clinical programs manager, but we do have other project managers, um, mm -hmm. straight project managers that uh, help with projects in other areas outside of the actual clinical program. Um, we have specifically IT project managers. We have general project managers. Um, but I am the only clinical programs manager. Gotcha. Yeah, so your plate is plenty full, to say the least. Sure is, sure is. So, but I do have a great support staff with me. I have a coordinator and an admin assistant that really help um, support all of the work that we do um, in clinical programs. That's great to hear. I know a lot of places are, are dealing with being understaffed. So to hear that you have the support you need is, is wonderful. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we're dealing with staffing issues just like everybody else, but I'm lucky to, to have my team that I have for sure. Well, thank you, Linda. Thank you, Heather. I really enjoyed presenting to you guys and to anybody else who watches the recording as well. Um, it's been a real pleasure. And thank you, Carlos, for, for your help moderating. You're welcome. Thank you so much for presenting today.